Hi everyone, welcome to Dave's Bones Eye. On today's show, 2K, a new bench look, and we're gonna drill a pot. It is another absolutely stunning Minnesota evening. We had a really hot day today and I sweat big time. I think I lost about three or four pounds uh, in sweat liquid weight. I wasn't retaining much water after this project, but I got my shade cloth up on my bench. You'll recall a couple episodes ago, I got Henry his bench built and some shade cloth. And I have a lot of uh, bonsai bench space where they get a lot of sun. And I'm more and more convinced that not every tree has to have that much sun all the time and it might need a little rest from here uh, from time to time. So I'm going to show you the bench here in just a moment. Plus I'm going to be drilling into the pot. I have this absolutely gorgeous pot that I acquired a couple years ago that's a tray, no holes in it. So we're going to put some drainage holes in here for a future forest planting. And it's the evening time, the sun is behind the clouds and trees, it's, uh, it's not hot anymore, I won't sweat any more of it off and we'll try to get uh, some of that hole dug. And I've got myself my new bit here with a nice uh, big, uh, what is it, uh, one inch hole. We'll put five of them in there for some drainage holes for a future forest. Looking forward to that. Super nice uh, pot. And um, also, a big huge thank you to all of you out there for supporting Dave's Bonsai. So a couple of videos ago, um, as I was editing and looking online, of course, as I do and checking things out, I saw the number 2K show you a quick pic at the YouTube 2K. I'm very excited about that. Uh, um, I hit a thousand last September and the support keeps piling in and we just hit 2,000 subscribers to Dave's Bonsai and I couldn't be more uh, happy and proud and just just love to uh, bring my journey of Bonsai to everybody. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, the death, the success, it's all on my channel and I, I hope you keep supporting that and throwing your comments my way, questions, concerns, all that good stuff. Uh, I love hearing from all the people out there in YouTube world. Um, a big thanks to all the new Minnesota Bonsai Society members. I uh, just had the workshop last weekend, so I know of the 100 people that I saw that weekend, a few of those I think pushed me over the 2,000 mark. So we're going to go with that. Thanks to the new MBS members. I'm so glad you were at the workshop. We had a lot of positive vibes from that. And I already have, as I think I might have mentioned, 30 people signed up for the next uh, part two version that we offer on the tail end of the next workshop where they can come back and work on their tree for no extra cost. And now, they're, of course, they're members of the club and uh, we'll give them all, all kinds of uh, more education and experience. So we're going to get to this uh, pot in a moment, but let's show you the new bench as we have a new um, shade cloth that's going to protect some of the trees should I need that the rest of this summer. So my original bench is to my right, your left, uh, has a lot of trees now that can be in the full sun most of the day, and some of the trees in here now are going to have a little bit of mix. So I have my bonsai bench, the one I fixed up this year for all the workshop trees that were at the bottom there on the deck. And I was able to add a couple more 2x4s, and I got an 8x10, eight, uh, eight I think it's an 8x10 cloth. Not, I think it's nine or so this way, and it's about six to seven, maybe eight this way. I forgot the exact dimensions. It's a little billowy. I went out, I got a five-foot chunk of wood. So this is about five foot of it. So I've got some extra space. I can stretch it out if I, if I want to with a couple of uh, maybe some uh, metal extenders, and I could go a couple more feet if I need to. But now I have um, all these trees on this top shelf. Now I got rid of the very, very top shelf. We had a lot of my Portulacaria aphras. They've been moved to other sunny spots. But now this is a, a nice display of the trees and uh, hopefully everything will love life. So I know my boxwoods, a lot of the boxwoods don't want full sun. You'll get a lot of leaf burn, so they're gonna have a little bit of both there. I might bring it down to the lower uh, deck once in a while for a little more sun than up here for medium sun. This is a 40% shade cloth, by the way, so there's gonna be sun up there. It'll come through, it'll just be 40% shade. And then when it gets out above the tip here, it's gonna have a couple hours of real good sun. And this is gonna be more evening sun, so not quite as blazing hot. I've got my Siberian, or excuse me, I've got my Chinese elm over here. And I realize with my Chinese elm, um, in, the, in the full sun, my Chinese elm never does good for long. Um, and so I took it out of the full sun about three, four weeks ago, and boom, boom, oh 
almost a foot of growth since it's in the part sun, part shade. So this one is going to be on a video pretty soon. We'll clean this up. This is that kind of root over rock, or root next to rock. It's been through a couple of iterations. It's just uh, lost some of its um, roots that were kind of out and going around the rock. So I wasn't able to uh, keep that design, but now it's still leaning up against a rock, and we'll, we'll work on that in a, in a future video very, very soon here. So a couple of Gatoni Aster that was having a tough time up here for recovery. Here's the two, two of the Siberian elms I just trimmed down in a video, uh, and we're, we got that those recovering too after some uh, chopping. So we have the shade. So it just was put on today. Uh, the sun was already low in the sky as I was sweating like crazy. It was getting lower, uh, past the midday point, right? And so definitely this top shelf will be shaded out for a good portion of the day. And down underneath there, if I have some recovery trees, they can be on that shelf down there that's in the back. And these old trees will get the most sun. So very exciting. Uh, it took me a couple of hours. Um, and I started to do a little bit of filming with my phone to do a time lapse. But it was so hot out here, the phone overheated and said, hey, we need to cool off before you can use, use your phone again. So that time lapse didn't happen. But why not just click to the end result, huh? So here we go. We have some nice shade to protect the trees should they need it. All right, let's go drill some holes in that beautiful pot. I'm all set up with the uh, pot, this beautiful blue pot that will put some, uh, maybe my Schaeflera in, my mother-in-law Schaeflera someday when it gets bigger. Maybe a tropical forest in here someday. I've got some water in here and I got the drill bit just started in here to make sure that it would go okay. I've never used one of these bits before. We started slightly at an angle and started drilling that in there. We got some water in here to keep those that bit from overheating. And here we go. Let's see if we can get this hole all the way through. Wait, let's give you a nice close-up of this. Here we go. <laughs> working really nice brand new diamond diamond cutter here way through. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hole number one. Right through there. Really nice. go here and here, here and here, and call it. Now my drill bit seemed to have slowed down a little bit, so we'll see if I can get through another hole or two, and then we'll, we got the next battery being juiced up right now. Down, three to go. Hi, Milo. 
I've successfully cut out all the holes. And one thing I noticed about the pot, there's a little bit of a wobble to it. And when you fill it with water, there are a couple of low parts where the water settles. So this is one of those situations where when you have anything in here that you don't want to be in water, you might have to put a little wedge under here, a wedge over here, and move the water back and forth a little bit to uh, uh, see if it can help to, uh, the drain purpose there. But this will be uh, ficus trees, this will be tropical trees, this will be trees that will uh, um, not be so afraid of water, and so we'll be able to... Uh, uh, have success in this uh, pot that's a little bit, little bit wobbly, a little bit warped, and a few places where some water might stand. You got to be careful with that. Um, some pots, if they uh, swoop down into the corners and stuff, you're going to have little pockets of water in there. But right here in the center of the tree, where most of the tree will be, um, roots will reach out there. Of course, uh, we're going to have a nice, uh, nice pot that has some beautiful holes in there, ready for some planting in the near future. There we have a shiny new pot. The water has helped clean up some of the pot that was in the plant room for a while. We've got our five holes in there, so that is fantastic, ready to go. And uh, this will be a really pretty pot. I'm really excited for whatever tree forest will come in here in the next couple of years. I don't think I'll have anything ready in the spring of 23, uh, but perhaps uh, the spring of 24, or maybe, um, maybe some ficus forest plantings or something in here just to have something in this beautiful, beautiful pot. But we won't rush it. We'll find something that'll look good in it and fit in it. A uh, nice shallow pot here that'll make a, a really nice display someday. Be a nice big tray pot for a kind of a penjing uh, in a tropical world. Be a great for a really big uh, uh, banyan style tree. Um, so, it was fun. It was a little easier than I thought it I was gonna be uh, I was going slowly because I was nervous about the cracks, but uh, nothing cracked. The brand new blade, sharp, made all the difference in the world, so super exciting. So we got the shade for the trees. Uh, thanks again to all the viewers to get me to 2,000, all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel and keep me posted on what you'd like to see and what you're thinking so far. And this is going to be fun in the near future. But until then, hey, we got to find something else to do. So take care of you, take care of your bonsai, and we're going to catch you on the next one. Thank you.